Good day. My name is Lydia Hamilton Smith. I greet you from Gettysburg, where I was born, and where I stayed for some 20 years. I was born on the sweetest day of the year, which was Valentine's Day. I married and had two children there in Gettysburg. I unfortunately had to move to Lancaster, Pennsylvania, but was blessed with having to work for the Honorable Congressman Thaddeus Stevens. He taught me the ways of finance as he saw my interest in education, and he believed that everyone should have the right to an education. I did so well that he allowed me to run his business. I managed his business as well as the household. As I started as a housekeeper, I actually became the household manager. I stayed there for some 20 some years working with the congressman and we had a secret that uh, very few knew at that time. The congressman and I were a part of the Underground Railroad. Not only did he have his home in Lancaster and his business, his law office, but he owned a tavern next door where we hid in the basement in a cistern, freedom seekers. He also used the aid of a sheriff in town by the name of David Miller to help him release escaped slaves. But I also became an entrepreneur, a businesswoman. I was able to buy property. I had property in Gettysburg. I had six properties in Lancaster and one in Washington, D.C. I also owned railroad stock. This was something he also believed in, that everyone should have the right to run a business and be successful. I took the time to come back to say to the young ladies of today that if I can succeed in the time when women were considered less than, I was a single woman, I was a widow with two children, and I'm living alone, but I was able to run businesses, run the congressman's business, and be quite successful. So I challenge the ladies of today to be able to run a business, become an entrepreneur. If I can do it in my time, there should be nothing, nothing to stop you now because you have so much more available to you. We also believed in equality among all. A congressman sold properties to other women he left in his will a legacy to start a school for young men, but in his will it is noted specifically that they should all dine together at the same time. And he specified, be it Mohammedan, Christian, Gentile, or Islamic, they should sit down and have dialogue because you can't know someone unless you talk to someone. So I'm very happy to see that this has progressed in this time as I venture back. And those are my times uh, for being here, and I thank you for your time.